Hello, my name is Xiao Oh. I'm from Stanford University. In transfer learning and metric learning, the goal is to learn the distance metric from label examples so that examples in the same class are put close to each other and examples from different classes are put farther apart in some embedding space. Here, the blue edges uh, mean the examples are from the same class and the red edges mean uh, they're from different class. After learning the metric from the labeled data, we can apply to examples from previously unseen classes for retrieval and clustering, in contrast to uh, the supervised classification where the training and testing classes should be the same. To this extent, there has been a large body of literature in transfer learning and metric learning. Specifically, constructive embedding is learned from a batch of pairs of examples with positive and negative labels. In contrast, triplet embedding is learned from a batch of triplet examples where positives and, and negatives are defined with respect to a predefined anchor points. In our method, we introduce connections among different examples inside the batch in a principled optimization framework. Here, d theta represents alto distance between uh, two examples in the embedding space. And for each, pair, for each positive pair highlighted in blue edges, we first anchor in the left example z of i, and look for negative examples in the batch with minimal, minimal distance. And then we switch the anchor to the right and repeat the same procedure. Our optimization problem is hard is to enforce um, the positive distance is less than the harder of the two hardest negative distances plus a margin alpha. However, this is hard to optimize directly and often converges to bad local optimum. So we instead optimize the smooth upper bound, which is uh, smooth and differentiable everywhere with respect to the distances, the d data. For training, we first sample positive pairs of examples in the batch and let each example find hardest negatives z stars within the batch. Then we average the loss over each positive pair. Once we fix uh, the latent assignments, the negative nearest neighbors, we can then update the network parameters. We experimented our method on three different uh, data sets and collected our own data set of 23,000 classes of objects sold on eBay and Amazon. The standard online product data set has a, on average three images per each class and there are huge variations in pose and viewpoint. This is a, two, a 2D TCD visualization of the learned embedding on our data set. And if we zoom in, we can see uh, different instances uh, classes uh, are well grouped to each other, even though uh, the training procedure hasn't seen these classes during training. For experiments, um, the figure on the left shows the experiment on clustering, and on the right uh, it shows the numbers on nearest neighbor retrieval, and red curves are our method. So on the left, uh, we show the performance in F1 score on clustering previously unseen classes of examples. And on the right, we show the nearest neighbor retrieval performance in different case, different number of neighbors, uh, versus the recall IK. And we uh, as you can see, we show uh, significant improvement versus uh, contrastive and triplet embedding. To recap, uh, we have the CVR results on deep metric learning, and the code and data set are available on GitHub. Thank you.